Welcome to Peace in the Valley, where adventure starts at home. Hello everybody, welcome to Peace in the Valley. Today I want to talk about the hood of the RK45 tractor, uh, same way as the TYM tractor. I would like it if you could like and subscribe to our channel right now. Right here, uh, this, this hood actually got damaged last week when we were in Kentucky uh, excavating and you could watch that video uh, that we have posted but what happened was a rock I'm gonna estimate around 100 pounds fell off the loader when I lifted it so high and it tumbled down right here on the hood now the hood did not break this plastic is actually pretty sturdy but it did bend the metal underneath so we're gonna try and take this off open it up and see if we can bend the metal back in place now I do know that we broke some of the light uh, adjustments for the headlights. So we're gonna look at that too. But I'm gonna show this to you and we're gonna see if we can get this fixed and maybe it can help you also be able to take the hood off. I actually think it's pretty easy and we're gonna figure it out right now. Okay, so here is the hood of the tractor and I hope you can all see it. But right here, you can see some of the paint came off and we got two large dents right here. And I think the only reason it's staying dented is when I open the tractor up, and that's this right here. When I open it up, it looks pretty good from under here, except you can see this is bent. So if you can see that, you can see this rod is all bent and we want to straighten that up. So just this part right here. So to do that, I think the best way is actually gonna remove the hood. I believe we can do it by pulling this pin out right here and then pulling the bottom hinge pin out and I think the whole thing would be free. Well, of course we'll have to disconnect the wiring harness. Let's check it out. All right, the first thing we're going to do is take off Got it. Oh man, I also pulled some beard hairs out. That hurt. Okay. Okay. We've got that pin pulled out. Let's see if we can save the washer before I lose it. Okay. That opened it up a little bit more. So that is now out. Now we have a it looks like a C-clamp on the bottom side over on the right side of the tractor and it uh, there we go see that we got that out now I chose to do it this way I could probably just take all the bolts out but I thought this would be the best way and I could still be wrong <laughs> We use the golf club here to go ahead and punch out that pin. The golf club actually worked quite well. It's not like I used it for anything well before, so. Okay, the only thing we're gonna do now is we're going to disconnect the wiring harness. Okay, the whole hood is off now. So, let's examine this. Uh, you can see that the screen here is actually popped out in some places, like right here. And that's because this here is all damaged from that big rock hitting it. But the hood did stand up quite well, so we're going to do some adjustments there. Okay, I'm going to show you what happened here. Right here is the headlight, okay? And you see there's four sides, actually. Here's one that broke off, okay? And it broke off on both of them. It might just be a matter of I can either epoxy it back on or turn it to the unused one. You see the unused one? That might be a possibility. Here, and that happened on both of the lights, right here, this is the top of the hood that attaches. This here is where the light fixtures go in. And if you look closely, 
you can see how bent this is. So we bent it here and here and here and here with a little bit here. This one did not bend, or if it did, it didn't bend much. So we're not gonna worry about that one yet, but we are going to work on straightening this all out. Not quite sure how I'm going to do it, but I think I wanna to try to straighten this and this at the same time to try to get it as square as possible. Anyhow, we're gonna keep working on it. <laughs> Hello, we are now in the super secret back room of the West Bend Laboratory. So what we are going to do now is we're going to clean this up. We're going to epoxy those back together. Now the secret tool here is obviously the JB Weld. So we're going to squirt a little bit right here. Try to squirt a little bit right here. Hopefully I don't need that much, but one side is squirted a little more than the other, so we're gonna try to stick to this right here. We're actually going to just leave these sit for a couple hours and we're going to do something else. Okay, I think we are ready to put back together the hood. And uh, from that angle, you're not going to be able to see it, but the whole hood, the dents are pretty much gone. Just releasing that, the metal from it has has pretty much put it back where it needs to go which is great let it relax a little bit the only thing that we want to do now is we want to put it back together here's here's this it's mostly straightened now and looks much better we're going to put a zip tie on the wiring harness and uh, i want to blow out the radiator while i have it off i don't know if you realized it but it's already pretty dusty. So we want to get this all cleaned out. Since I've got the hood off, I may as well. Yeah. 
So here is what the inside looks like. We're actually going to go a little closer. You might want to bookmark this video in case you haven't taken this apart yet. But you can see we got the engine radiator, the transmission radiator. It has its own cooling system. So that is actually built really well. Here's what it looks like, which you can normally see is not a problem. But we're just going to look at all the different spaces while we're while we have this off okay and looking at this you can see that it's pretty roomy very well designed and fairly easy to access considering we didn't even have to take any bolts off to take the hood out here is the shock absorber for the hood if you can see that I'm not sure and then the pin that we were talking about taking out is actually right here and it goes right through from one end to the other and uh, we put on the the C ring I'm not sure what those are called I may just drill it and put in a regular pin that's easier to pull out anyhow that is the quick tour of the engine compartment that you can't normally see uh, very well let's get the hood back on okay and you can see here's our lights and hopefully you can see it that I'm holding it right uh, the epoxy is hardened it is actually done pretty well we're gonna still try to avoid using it and use the three that haven't been hopefully we can take this off and move this over to here I'm not quite sure how that works though it's got a So this is actually missing this part. And it looks like I epoxied it in. Well, we may just well use it. Okay. So this would be for the one side and turn it for the other side. Okay. As you can see, here's how it goes on the Let's see. This goes in like this. That means the lights go like this. And these are supposed to just pop in. Hopefully they do. Okay, that first one made it in okay. Hopefully the second one makes it in just as easily. And both of the lights angle towards the inside, or the receptacle does. Well, I guess the epoxy didn't hold up as well as I thought. Let's see if we can turn the light. See if it's going to break anyway, we may as well Let's see if we can do this the right way. Of course. 
course that would happen, because that's what always happens with me. It's one reason why I like the step bits, they don't do that. Okay, now I can still use that other C clamp if I want to. There, what you think? Now I can use a pin or a clamp. Never have too much WD-40. Okay, now let's go ahead and pop these back out. They're not extremely easy to pop out. Unless you do that. You know, we were really actually blessed because this could have been, we could have lost screws, these adjustments, um, and apparently something bent right there because it still doesn't want to fit right, which is probably why it pulled it apart. It could have been much, much worse. Excellent. Okay. Now, let's see, how does this go on? I think we pop these off first. <clears throat> Be careful or these are going to break. There we go. Okay, so that's actually how it works, is that snaps in. So we've got to put this through here, just like so. Okay. Then this has to twist, and that's what locks it in. Nah. And it looks like we got it partly twisted. Okay, that is now in. Where'd the orange thing go? I know it's right here. Here it is. Slide that. It goes just like so. Press it in a little more. And whoa, voila. I don't know if those are something you can buy like a Napa. 
or your local hardware store or not. I've just, I've never seen those before. Both of them are now secured, so we didn't necessarily need that. Prefer that we didn't just throw it away, but okay. Now, we also need to zip tie. I had a brown zip tie, but I just felt compelled to get a black one. That's what it was before. Okay, got that zip tied up there. Cut off the excess. Everybody needs to have a bucket of zip ties, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. I don't know if it matters which way. It feels like it goes this way. This one. May have to slide over a little bit to get this in. Okay, they do go on a certain direction. I think we are ready to put this back together. And we're going to put some WD-40 inside of there too. Yeah, that's plenty. Probably help if I had a battery. That's enough. I've got about, I don't know, nine or ten batteries. Uh, depending, because I use them for work. But I don't like to carry them all over the place, so I, I try to only use the amount that I need for the job. Here's an interesting piece. Yeah, this broke off from somewhere. I'll have to find that. Must be part of the light fixture at some point. Right? Oh well.
Okay. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, we are close, but not close enough. Okay. Yeah, we're getting closer. Let's see if we can this. Now, here you can see the metal screen actually bent down a little bit, but this is now back rounded, much nicer. Get some paint and paint that. We'll get inside there and bend this up a little. Uh, but overall, it's, it's much better here. Okay. Remember our trusty little golf club tool? We're gonna use it again. And guess what? That is how you do it. Okay, so you can see down in there, we are back together. The lights are now stable. We need to get that pin in. Okay. Remember our trusty little golf club tool? We're gonna use it again. Guess what? That is how you do it. Okay, so you can see down in there, we are back together. The lights are now stable. We need to get that pin in. Okay, pin is now on.
There we go. Sometimes those are harder than anything. Okay, next we gotta hook up the light switch. One-handed, not bad. Okay. That is actually a very hard screen. Okay, check the headlights out. Hey, she's not cross-sided anymore, I don't think. Okay, that worked. I hope you enjoyed that video. I had fun making it. Give me a like and subscribe if you thought it was worth anything. That's how you take the hood on and off. It's also how you can correct it if you drop something on here real hard. So, what do I think about it? I think this tractor is fantastic. There's a, so far, really not too much that I would change on it other than how to attach the backhoe. It's not as easy as some of the other TYM tractors that I have seen where you can just drop a pin in. These have to come in from the side and it's not quite as easy. But what do I think about the hood? Plastic, I think it's actually good. Uh, if I would have put metal on that, it would have been, if this would have been a metal hood, it would have been destroyed. And could it have been a better frame inside? Yeah, maybe. If it was a heavier metal, say eighth inch instead of 16th inch or whatever it was, uh, it probably would have broken the plastic because that rock was probably 100 pounds. It was very heavy. Uh, it was, I could move it, but I couldn't pick it up. And having it on here, uh, having it not break the plastic, I think was, was great. It still looks fine other than the paint got scratched. So we're going to do some fixing on there, but I just, I thank the good Lord for allowing us to get down to Kentucky, get back to Ohio and, uh, really with most of the parts intact. I, I wasn't sure that the extent of the damage until we got back and Everything stayed together. The tractor runs great. It did a lot of work. So if you want to see all the work that it did, go check out my other videos and you'll see that this tractor is a, is a great machine. Take care. I'll see you later.